Hi, I'm Andrew Bunnell, and for today's experiment on measuring a part, uh, periodic transmission line, I should say a transmission line with periodic defects, we need to use a network analyzer. This is an 8753 network analyzer, and uh, it's a little old, but it still can take really good measurements. But the first thing we need to do is calibrate it. So to calibrate it, I'm going to just take my sample off, and I'm going to use the minimum amount of cables needed. If you notice here, I only have this one short blue cable. It's about three feet long. And I also have my sample here, which is about a, about a foot long. And I have a little copper box to hold it up to calibrate it. And today we're going to use a calibration kit. This one is uh, Mari Microwave Corporation model number 8050Q. Now this is a calibrated calibration kit with specific numbers. You could, if you need to calibrate something that doesn't have, uh, and if you don't, can't afford one of these kits, there are some other ways which I'll talk you through too. So the first thing we want to do is we want to hit preset, the green button, and the next thing we want to do uh, is to hit calibrate or the cal key. Next, the third one down is the calibrate. Let's do a two port full. We start out with our reflection coefficients. Now right here there's an open and I'm going to put it on to port one and go ahead and do open. Now if you want to do an open without a calibration kit you could just leave the, the cap open. Um, using these little devices make it a little more precise uh, calibration. This one right here is the short, so I'm going to click short. Now one way you could make your own short is you could take a cable in, like a little female Draw wire cable in, and the outside of the inside and make a short. This one right here is a load, a 50 ohm matched load. You turn that on. You hit load. One way you could do a load, it wouldn't be quite as calibrated, but you could just take a little terminator, 50 ohm terminator, they're not too expensive, and just plug that into there. Okay, next I'm going to do the same thing on the on port 2. If you notice I'm turning the nut that turns, I'm not screwing it in. Okay, so first off we open. short. Okay. And finally, termination. And next you hit standards done. Next is transmission. Click on transmission. Now for transmission, we need a little bullet. There's one. The shorter the better. So this will connect the cable directly. Okay. Now I'm going to do forward, both forward and reverse. Measures the one side and the other side, and back again. Finally, isolation and emit isolation, and then we click on done to port cal. Now I'm going to stick this device under test, which is our periodic transmission line has periodic defects, which has impedance mismatch. Scale, auto scale. And if you notice, uh, it starts about negative 10 dBm, drops down to about negative 60 at about 2.5, 3 gigahertz is the, the center of it comes back up and comes across. 
Now because we're using FR4 board, there is some gradual attenuation as the frequency goes up. Let's look at format phase, scale auto scale. You notice our phase, we get our phase shifting as our frequency increases. And look at this nice long phase shift um, where there was a lot of power loss. And that's it. Thanks for watching.